All right, guys. Um, so this is the master relay or battery contactor, uh, made by White Rogers, part number seven zero one 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 two two six dash five, used in Piper, Cessna, many aircraft. Uh, it has two term, uh, three terminal posts. You can see that here. This is copper terminal post. It's the bat terminal post. If you actually look on here closely you'll say bat so that's the bat terminal post it has a big wire coming off of it goes directly to the battery positive of the battery 12 volts then it has another terminal post copper right here copper terminal post which is the load and uh, there is current that flows from this bat terminal post to the load terminal post and the control terminal post, which is steel, which is not copper, uh, is the one that connects to the master switch. And when the master switch turns on, this gets grounded. It has a white wire with black line on it. When this gets grounded, the battery uh, terminal, the bat terminal, allows the current to flow to the load terminal. That's what happens. So that's all you're looking for. This gets grounded. The batch terminal is connected to 12 volt source or battery, and it starts allowing the current to flow to the uh, load terminal from the batch terminal by putting this terminal to the ground, system ground. So the master switch takes the control terminal, which is the steel terminal, and puts it to ground. That's why it's called a ground-seeking master solenoid or earth-seeking master solenoid. So two terminal, three terminal posts, bat, load, control, which is steel. Ground the steel terminal by turning on the master switch. It seeks the ground. As soon as it gets the ground, it starts flowing 12 volt from the battery, from the bat terminal, to the load terminal. And that's the end of the story, that's it. So this needs to go to ground when the master switch turns on. If it's not going to ground, there is a problem. Okay, that's it.